Hey friends, this is Amanda with AB Adventures and today we are going to be talking about a particular voice actor found in the parks who actually is the one behind the famous Madame Leota in the Haunted Mansion ride. And this woman surprisingly did some famous roles from Disney movies that I'm sure you'll know, but you'll just have to see when we get into that in just a minute. So stick around. We are back and as I said, this video is going to cover a particular bo voice actor behind the famous character Madame Leota from The Haunted Mansion. If you don't remember it, you can see it right here who this character is. And I have been going to the parks all of my life and seen this character multiple times and I never really thought about who the voice actor was behind it until recently and we were going through this ride and I was listening and I thought, wow, this voice sounds really, really familiar and it's not just because I've seen <laughs> this ride, I've been on this ride before and I started thinking about it and I was like, wow, I just can't place it. So I'm gonna play it for you here. I wanna hear, can you place it? Serpents and spiders fail of a rat. Fall in the spirits wherever they're at. So I don't know if you could tell, but it took me a few minutes after we got off the ride that one time that I thought, oh my goodness, I think I know who this is. And I, I realized that this voice actress was actually the voice of Maleficent. Maybe you heard it. Poor simple fools thinking you could defeat me. And so I started looking it up and her name is Eleanor Audley. And I didn't realize that she had actually even done work before then too. So we're gonna unpack all of this for you starting back in 1950. So when Disney was hiring people to actually work on his films as voice actors, he didn't really, like people didn't really get the credit that they do today for the work that they were doing as the voice of a character. And so people really did only want to hear the voice, especially even Disney. And when people came in for an audition, what actually happened was he would listen from his office, like they would send the voice through on these speakers and he would listen in his office and and decide whether he thought that that person would be good for that character. And so that's how auditions worked. Other people would obviously listen in too. And Eleanor Audley auditioned this way for Disney's 1950s Cinderella as the evil villain again, Lady Tremaine. And we often don't think of these two characters being related, Maleficent and Lady Tremaine, but she is such an evil character and you can really see a lot of her facial expressions and what they actually did is Frank Thomas and Mark Davis animated this character and so they would watch her and take a lot of the same facial expressions and pull those all together to create this character but it was all based off the actor so the actress Eleanor Audley would come in they would have her dress up and they acted scenes out so that the animators could really get those facial expressions pulled into the movie. So if you listen right here, you can really hear her voice come out. Please. After all, we did make a bargain, didn't we, Cinderella? And I never go back on my word crazy, right? I would have never thought that they were the same character, but you can definitely hear it when you're listening to it. So for nine years later, when they did Sleeping Beauty, Maleficent had this very regal character and they looked back to the person who did Lady Tremaine to be able to bring those pieces together. Quite a glittering assemblage, King Stephen. Royalty, nobility, the gentry, and oh, how quaint even the rabble 
the same way that they did Cinderella is they actually had her act out, but it was way more intensive. They dressed her up in the Maleficent costume. She had the horns, all the things, and they got really involved to be able to pull those facial expressions and everything. So Maleficent, I think more than anything, um, they really honed in on um, how she actually looked as an actress to be able to bring that out into the character. So you can really, really see that there. And then that brings us all the way around to Madame Leota. And so with Madame Leota, they actually pulled for the character. Again, it was a different person. It wasn't Eleanor Audley, um, but they pulled a costumer from the Disney parks who had been working there already. She was a cast member and her name was Leota. And they had her come in and do the um, face acting for this and then they put that up in the crystal ball and then they had Eleanor Audley voice everything for it. So you can definitely hear Lady Tremaine's and Maleficent's voice as you're going through the ride. Goblins and ghoulies from last Halloween. Awaken the spirits with your tambourine. I think it's so interesting and I can't believe I didn't notice it before then. So let me know, had you noticed this before? Do you find this super interesting? I definitely do and I hope you enjoyed it. So let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when we have more videos like this. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you on the flip flop.